Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts. We're going to have another gun review today. The Taurus G3 9mm, right? Drop the mag. Rack the round out, right? We're good to go. Gun is safe. See? It's a nice little handgun. I love the hell out of it. I've been carrying it for about two years now. I do like the optics ready upgrade I made to it because, uh, yeah. Uh, the stainless steel guide rod and springs holding up well. I still have a factory barrel in it. I do have the stainless striker upgrade in that. And uh, it's been pretty good. I haven't shot it in a while because I haven't been shooting in a while. But, you know, sorry, it's a little hard to do this on and off camera here. But you can kind of see your sights, right? Let's see. Wiggle around, wiggle around. Yep, yeah, you get a white dot. So upgrade for this is the uh, Toro slide. Mine was the older one with the Bomar style sights. I do like these Glock sights a little better, right? Gun is unloaded, obviously. I do like the trigger pull on this. It does have the restrike capability, right? It's probably a three or four pound dude grade type trigger. Reset's pretty nice on it. Does have a safety. This gun needs cleaned very badly because I wear it like 24 hours a day and I clean it once a week, but takedown's pretty simple on these. You just push your little tabs down like that, right? Kind of hard to do on camera here. You can pull your slide right off. Pull your barrel out after you get your recoil spring. You need a little tool to kind of push down on the back of that striker, but it goes back together pretty simple. Oh, in all, it's a decent little gun. Uh, I, I don't really care for the safety on it. I don't discare for the safety on it. You know, and you can see right here what happens when you wear a gun 24 hours a day. You get a lot of dead skin and shit in there. It's kind of gross. I do clean this every once in a while, but, you know, thumbs forward grip, you know. Kind of hard to do on camera here, but I'm just playing with different formats, folks. I figured I'd uh, get some shit done today while Mom's got the fucking car. And uh, I had plans, but, you know, best laid plans and all, but... It's been a nice little handgun. I, if you're thinking about buying one, you're on the fence about it, get one on sale. Get two of them on sale. Put a, put a few of them away for your kids later. But uh, as always, uh, kind of a brief overview and handling of the, you know, yeah. Shout out to uh, Marksmanship, right, Stuart? We had a discussion about that yesterday. But all in all, I'd recommend this to anybody that wants just a budget entry-level firearm or even somebody like me who can't afford better right now and the gun will do you until you get that money for a glock right you know there obviously with any handgun you're going to have some teething trouble or you're going to have some quality control issues with any brand so don't be afraid to get out and put some rounds through these things before you like clean them oil them put them away for later all right that's kind of where i'm getting at with this but as always uh have a fantastic day i have a gun to clean and if you don't like it you can eat my shorts